Okay, we're recording this video after close trade Monday, 28th of July, 2014. Hope you had a good day's trading. Well, bounce back pretty strong. I thought it would kind of break down and kind of keep going, but we did hold these lows and we've broken back up to 72. About 1.2 million contracts traded. Just got to be careful about this. The average trade size today was really low, which isn't necessarily a good sign um, because we tend to bounce off those types of patterns. But anyway, let me just show you on the highest time frame tip bar chart. So the last video I did, I said uh, I thought we were breaking through this cyclical support on the 45,000 um, tip bar chart, and so that would take us into a downtrend. And we did break through it, but we've kind of come back up into this zone. Uh, again, note no blue professional bars kind of at the lows. They tend to be at the highs. We've got a little bit of cyclical energy to like work out on this time frame um, before this starts to roll over again. So I think this was just the first crack at it, but you know it's not as convincing as it uh, looked kind of this morning. Anyway, so day trades, uh, it's quite a nice day trading opportunity. I got, because, you know, I'm in the Sydney time zone, the Australian time zone, I had the opportunity to kind of get short on this break in the Asian region. So I short at uh, 68, but then it just bounced all the way back out and I had to bail at 70. 125 for a loss of uh, three and a quarter kind of pre-open. I was hoping what would happen would be that the Asian market kind of sold off, uh, the European market kind of followed and it just kind of kept on dropping down. But no, we had no real lead from the Asian market. Then as soon as the European market opened, you know, we didn't have much of a, a clue as to what was going to happen there. So we had to wait for the uh, US open. And then you can see pre-open, we have blue professional bars at the highs and they sell it down first thing at the open here have a little bit of a bounce back into the top of that zone and then we come down and that is the critical bar this blue professional bar on the 1500 tip bar chart that is at the low uh, of the day I mean we've only been open 10 minutes or so but that is falling through the ice so the professionals getting short there we immediately crack through that low and then kind of keep going have a little bit of a bounce at this blue professional bar up here but this thing is not over until we see a bunch of blue professional bars kind of coming in at the lows at 62 down here and that's when we start to rally back and then bang we're going the other way it wasn't with an exhaustion uh, pattern here it was a decent read I think these were like uh, this was a 9,000 read this was like 7,000 uh, read on better momentum uh, but they signaled as flushes just because this was pretty big read at uh, 12,000 down here so it wasn't really an exhaustion you know getting everybody kind of cleared out uh, down here um, so it was more like a short covering rally uh, for the afternoon kind of back everybody that was kind of short was having to just kind of get out of those positions and we ended up kind of uh, closing back where we started the day just to back it down on the 500 tip bar chart just to show that little sequence uh, getting in I'll uh, tag on this day trade because it was a nice one so this is the open where we start to sell off really quickly and we have this little channel a Rambo to Rambo channel so the amateurs are getting uh, short uh, at this point here they're a little bit too early we bounce off that go the other way then they're thinking oh break into the upside or getting stopped out of those short positions get more Rambo patterns up here come back again just bump, bump this up for you come back again into another Rambo pattern we just briefly bounce off there and there's that little cluster of blue professional bars and it was one blue professional bar on the 1500 tip bar chart that's what we're waiting for to, uh, just to know exactly what the professionals are doing and we break below the lows of that falling through the ice and then bang we're into a downtrend here and this one keeps going really nicely pull back to dirty end of trend it's dirty end of trend no end of trend signaled here because the pullback level got violated but you can see that was going to come back down again because we had not had exhaustion sell on a left shoulder kind of going down and we just had little Rambo patterns uh, kind of uh, punching up there um, amateurs again kind of getting stopped out or thinking the thing was over and reversing going the other way no we need to see more blue professional bars kind of coming in at the lows and here we go we start to see a whole cluster of them down here until we bottomed out and go the other way so um, and it was also on the 4500 tip bar chart that blue professional bar so that's what you're waiting for for those kind of signals I didn't trade it off so the first trade I had is short uh, 7025 movement target out uh, 26525 so picked up five on the first one but remember I had a loss of three and a quarter makeup uh, kind of pre-open and then uh, just grabbed a couple of points uh, one and a half and a two after that uh, and then tried to reverse and go sh well sorry I tried to continue going short at 62 the market reversed and I uh, had to get out with a one and a half point loss so it's a good day trade um, glad to make up that loss kind of pre-open uh, and then the first one was a really nice kind of trade but I didn't trade this uh, change in trend after that that was kind of dumb for me I was hoping it was going to be a big kind of 
a volatile, fairly fast day, and it was a, a good first you know couple of hours of trade at least. Anyway, so there we go. A uh, quick little video tag on that first trade. Hope your trading is going well. Okay, just got short 70.25. Short 70.25. Just checking stops and targets. So, a uh, little bit uncertain as to which way we're going to break, uh, first thing. Um, blue professional bars right at the open and we just sold off. But, Rambo patterns, we bounced off that and then Rambo patterns up here at 73, so Rambo to Rambo channel. And then again here, and then a whole cluster of blue professional bars kind of come in. And that does not hold. We break the lows of that sequence, bang, into a downtrend below support on the 500 tip bar chart here. So there we go, that little sequence there. It's blue professional bars on 15. We got to run a resistance to support, kind of down here. Resistance support on 45. So we're in a trend move on the way down here. And we got these in the background showing cyclical highs and we're running off. So minus 7,000, decent reading. We got some news uh, to kind of come out. We got, uh, um, I think it's PMI. Anyway, so what have we got? Yep, PMI uh, services 8:45. So that's in a minute. Then we've got pending home sales and fellow, uh, Dallas Fed manufacturing. Not until 9:30 though. So that's. I wonder if there's a whisper out. That's why we've just uh, sold off hard. I just moved my target out 65 and a quarter quickly went down there to uh, 66 and not seen any blue professional bars. That one's happening on the retrace, not picking it up on the way down, so uh, hopefully we'll head back down. We've got cyclical support um, in due at 1500. I hate it when that happens because that we can get big bounces off that. But anyway, this has got to run pullback to end of trend. We've also got to see blue professional bars coming on 1500. So I'm just pushing my target out by another point and see if we uh, if we get through 66s easily and come t come down to 65s, come on. All right, initial target just got hit, 66 and a quarter. Still not seeing blue professional bars coming. The energy here is going to flick around, pull back to under trend. So come on, come on, come on. Let's keep going down. Oh, so just take it out, 65 and a quarter. Excellent. Four, five. Uh, just as we're coming into another Rambo pattern down here. Only one blue professional bar, so uh, it's, yeah, it's keeping going to 64s. Never mind, that's fine, I'm happy with that. Pushed out the target by an extra point, so that was kind of good. Uh, still got to go pull back to end of trend at some point and put in cyclical support on 1500. Yeah, geez, another point in it. Still no blue professional bars going to come in. Well, not bad, 8.50 am, so quite happy with that.